it's Christmas treasure hunting and oh it's so bright and it's quite warm I'm gonna boil on this like a lobster in a bag but anyway gonna be treasure hunting with two friends it's my traditional Christmas treasure hunt with chill bill event and we're going down this field which I've been hammering for years and years and years but I think I'm a new patch where we haven't really tried very hard and it's nothing like novices with new ears to find stuff that you've missed with your old oh no dig that rubbish up sort of technique that you develop when you're an old wretched detector so we'll see if we can find some more treasure on this field come with me for some metal detecting let's see if we can turn up some treasure and yeah my friend and this is here looking away for the camera camera shy mark and this is titania's first find here we're excited now so here so here we have it in situ or rather in the clod and now it comes and that is looking like a part of a brooch well that's very nice actually that's a nice thing bronze and when we clean it up we'll see what it is um, it could just be a bit of a plate but it's looking more like a a badgy thing but you never know until you clean it up <laughs> nice one well done <laughs> Feeling very pleased with myself now because I've got a bullet. It might be a bullet. I hope it didn't go through someone or something. And there it is, the little bit of shot. Thought it might have been a button at first, but no, that looks like a little bit of a bullet. Well, we've got two signals, one pinpointer, and what looks like a Neolithic hand tool. Can't be bad. So that's looking like a tool to me. Could be wrong, but I think that's some kind of scraper. Certainly sharp enough. Has that work feel to it. You never can be sure, of course. But anyone out there who knows these things, please post below. A little uh, bleep turned into a uh, 83 to 86. So we've dug a uh, chump, a uh, clump of uh, soil out and we'll now investigate. Here's the chump, and here's <laughs> the clump. Now, I'll, I'll pinpoint that, Mark, don't yep. worry. If I don't sink into the mud. Something hard. It's gonna be a bullet. I'm, gonna, I'm guessing it's a bullet. Let's have a look. It's a lumpo. Let me put my bleeper away. Oh, it's a bent coin. Oh. I believe that's a bent coin. Yeah, that's a coin. Get the right light on it. And there we go. That's Mark's first coin. Looking like a liard. On the basis of having found my first coin, I'm very happy to donate it to Clem. No, you can keep that for now, at least until we get off the field. At least until we discover <laughs> exactly what it is. It's a Liard, I bet you, 1750s. Excellent, very happy. So Titania's got this little bit of cacapoo poo. poo. <laughs> what is it? poo poo, this is what this is, cacapoo poo. poo. There we are, put that in your uh, fine bag. And Mark? I've found a thimble, which I believe I lost about 500 years ago. He's a Highlander, I'm going to cut his head off later. <laughs> <laughs> but nevertheless, a nice looking thimble and uh, cleaned up, it could be nice. So that's actually quite an old one. That's probably going to be 1600s, I should think, because um, it's very irregular dimples and that means old. Anything irregular means old. And the older you get, the more irregular it becomes. Well done, Mark. Excellent. So we've got to find in here somewhere. I was hoping that wasn't it. But if you think you can see it, you can't. And th there is the coin. Or whatever it is. Yeah, it's a coin. So here we, ha here we have the coin. And that is the coin. And that's another Liard. 
just like Mark found a moment ago. Well, coin number two. One for me and one for you. So one each now. Nice discovery, Clem. <laughs> We're going to be rich. <laughs> yeah, only if we get the gold ones. So that's my little shot bullet. I think that's what that is. It's lead, I'm pretty sure. And Mark's got a coin up there, I think. It's 88, according to the dais. Now he's got to find it without a pinpointer. Ha ha ha! Lucky him! And there's another one down here, I think. But you never know until you get pinpointering to find out what it is. The chances are high. That's a coin, I would say. And there it is. There's a coin. Go on, Mark. Pick it up. Oh. Yeah, that would be a Liard. It will say on it, probably there when it cleans up, Liard de France. So it would be Louis the 15th. And I think up here was a basically a bridal way. And uh, as they were jiggling up and down on their horses, out popped their small change. What about their gold and silver, though? One more for the tally. Fantastic, Clem. What sort of date would that be, roughly? 1750. Okay, that's nice. The Tanya has got a bag seal, which is probably a seed bag seal, I should think. Meanwhile, I just got this, which I have no idea what it is. Bell. I have no idea what this is, um, but it's probably not a thing. But it might be, I don't know. I'll give it a wash and find out. It's a top of something but not of much, I should think. But having said that, it'll be the top of a Crusader's sword or something. It could be a, a pommel, couldn't it? Yeah. If you can't dream, you shouldn't be doing this. Well, I'm thinking it's probably a discum knockerator that attaches to the foo-foo valve. Yes. Well, you can't beat beginner's luck, but you can beat beginners, and I'm about to do that with a spade, because <laughs> Mark has got a little thing out amongst a load of iron. So it's lots and lots of iron, and it was a funny little signal. I said, dig that. So I come over to help him find it. And he thought it was his coin, but actually it's mine. It's mine now. So this is a little silver hammered. I'm guessing. It's a billion. So it's low grade, but you can see it. it's not copper, can't you? So that is a medieval, a medieval tournoir, probably silver. 1400s, I would guess. But you don't know until you clean it up. You can see it's been but being very thin and being clonked by the plough a few dozen times, it's been eaten away out. And who knows, there may be a bag down there. Uh, he's been coming down here finding coins and symbols, so I guess horses have been coming up down here. And jingle, 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 scroll, scroll, scroll. And this is his first silver coin and his last because he will not live for long. I'd like to put it down to more than beginner's luck, but I can't because I'm just not a lucky guy. Oh, well, you, you get luck whether you like it or not. <laughs> I'll take it. And that's the proof. I'll take it. So Tanya has got her first nice find of today, outside of that knife blade. And let's, let me get that in with some lighting. Mm -hmm. And that is a little starburst bun. It looks like it might be silver. It's got a tarnish to it. So I think it's a silver... Silver button with a starburst on it. So there's two pieces of silver now. It's silver. Ooh. Well done. Ooh. 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 You can see this tarnish, this silver tarnish, yeah? Silver. Okay. There you go, well done. Ooh. <laughs> now Tanya's got a nice find. Got a lovely signal down here. Now it's either going to be aluminum 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 or it could be a silver hammered. Okay. So the chances are nine aluminum aluminum, one silver hammered. So it's in here. Now I think this is going to be a musket ball. Because I thought I saw a bit of lead. There it is there. I think that is what it is. Not silver. Not aluminum. Mm -hmm. 
but a bit of shock bullet. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, it's a lump of lead. Now I'm trying not to get stuck in the mud here, but I've got a coin and I've got it out. I think it's a Napoleon Trois, five centimes, but I don't know yet. It's just a green circle in the brown mud. Let's go get it. There it is. And yeah, there's Napoleon. So there's Napoleon Trois. And it's a five centimes from about 1860 something. Now I'm going to try to get myself out of this mud now. Mark and Tan, you've got something? And they're going, hoo hoo ha ha ha. <laughs> Which I take it means a liard, not a silver coin. It's bigger. Oh, it's bigger. It's better. Backer. And it's got a man with a beard on it. Mm. Ah, this go. looks like a man. Yes. Yeah, good old Napoleon Trois. From, mm. That's a five centime, I should believe, from 1860 something or other. In fact, you might even be able to read the date on this one. You're probably reading it better than I do, viewers, mm -hmm. because my eyes are more like vision, can't pick that out, but that'll be an eagle there. And there he is, the old emperor himself, Napoleon Toi. Fantastic. 20 years before my grandfather was born. Oh, really? Amazing. Indeed. So, uh, too late for him to spend it. <laughs> but uh, let's see what we uh, make of it when we clean this up. There's a pair of muddy boots for you. Nope. That would not surprise me at all if that wasn't another worked blade. Looks work. It looks worked. Can't speak straight. I'm so knackered. It's certainly very pretty. Piece of, I think it's called sard. But anyway, nice little scraper. But I know I've got stone experts watching my channel. You can tell me what you think that is. Could just be a chipping, of course, but I think that's a scraper. Might be wrong, but anyway, it's a nice bit of rock. I like my rocks. Look at that, lovely. Translucent colour. <laughs>